apart from integers we have non integers non integers and numbers expressed as fraction decimal so these are non integers for example 2 by 3 2 is an integer 3 is an integer the upstairs portion is called the numerator and the downstairs is called denominator let me refer to it as upstairs and downstairs so we have one integer divided by another integer so since when you divide 2 with 3 you don't get anything you don't get an integer so we call it a fraction now decimal is for example 0.5 now decimal is similar to fraction they're written with a point and this zero is not necessary I could have just written 0.5 but this zero is helpful to observe because sometimes you might just miss this point that's why when writing it's advisable that you write 0 0.5 but in reality this is not needed at all but we write it for visual purposes now 0.5 is the same as the fraction 1 over 2 or half now there is another concept when we talk about fraction and decimals these are called ratios ratio what's a ratio for example 1 divided by 2 can be written as 1 is to 2 so that's a ratio for example 2 divided by 3 can be written as 2 is to 3 so when we talk about expressing a number as a ratio is the same as a fraction and the decimal they're the same we can write it as a fraction or we can write it as a decimal so this is uh, any number that can be written as a ratio is just two integers which is a fraction now the next category of number is rational number if you notice the first three four words letters R A T I O rational we call it rational numbers rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed so that means whenever you have a number that can be expressed as an integer or a ratio of integer okay ratio of integers so integer means you know the whole numbers one two three four and ratio of integers their fractions decimals so that's what's a rational number so most of the numbers are rational numbers every integer is a rational number so let me give you some examples for example 5 is a rational number 2 by 3 is a rational number because it can be expressed as the ratio of two integers 1.5 is a rational number because 1.5 can be written as 15 by 10 these are integers and this can also be written as uh, 5 3 is a 15 5 2 is a 10 so this is an integer even square root of 16 is an in is a rational number because square root of 16 can be expressed as an integer 4 so these are all rational numbers so rational numbers is any number that can be expressed using an integer or a ratio of an integer so the next concept is irrational numbers e rational numbers so irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be numbers that cannot be remember cannot be expressed either as an integer or as a ratio of integer so any number that cannot be expressed as an integer or a ratio of integer that's that's called an irrational number that's an irrational number so let me give an example for example pi pi is the ratio of the circumference to the diameter uh, 3.1412 it goes on forever so you cannot express it as an integer and you cannot express it as a ratio of integers in some books uh, class four or five textbooks pi is expressed as 22 by 7 that is not correct that's that's a mistake pi cannot be expressed as 22 by 7 for some reason for simplicity it can be written in textbooks as 22 by 7 but remember that is inaccurate so pi is an irrational number then square root of 2 square root of 2 cannot be expressed as an integer it cannot be expressed as a ratio of integers 
it will be always uh, square root of 2 and it will be 1.41 something 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 and same with square root of 3 and on so remember these numbers of square roots and pi these are irrational numbers numbers that cannot be expressed as integers or ratio of integers so the concept here is for numbers so let me review what we have talked about so the first thing you need to know what is a natural number number the next thing is what is an integer so you know an integer can be positive integer which are actually natural numbers negative integers and zero zero is an integer it has no sign it's a neutral integer next what are the types of integers that means even and odd integers and the concept of prime integers that is very very important then what are non integers so non integers are fractions decimals and ratios so they are one and the same thing they can be interchanged and written like that then what are rational rationals and irrationals or rational numbers and irrational numbers so this is the concept of numbers so whenever you're thinking about numbers these are the basic concept that needs to be remembered